Hi everybody, today we are going to deal with the topic textile finishes. What is a finish? Have you seen a fabric that comes from a loom? It is generally rough to feel, dirty with stains and is known as grey cloth. But the other fabrics that we buy from a shop are smooth, neat and clean. Why? And what happens in between? Yes, a finish has been applied. A finish is any treatment given to a fabric after weaving or knitting to change its appearance, hand and performance. When a finish is applied, say on cotton, it may become shiny, stronger or resist shrinking on washing. Similarly, other finishes may make the fabric softer or stiffer, water or stain resistant. In order to impart the desired functional properties to the fabric, the material is subjected to different kinds of physical and chemical treatments. In this session, we are going to understand about the fabric finishes and its objectives, learn about the classification of finishes, gain knowledge about the fundamentals, techniques and application of different finishes to fabrics. The objectives of finishing are to make the fabric more appropriate for its end use, Impart better appearance like whiteness and luster to a fabric and enhance its look. Improve the drape, feel or handle and serviceability of the fabric. Improve the wearing qualities of the fabric by making it anti-static or crease resistant. Impart special qualities for specific use like flame retardancy, antimicrobial finish etc. Provide desirable qualities like dimensional stability and soil repellency or enhance the saleability of the fabric. Make up for falls in the original fabric. For example, loosely woven fabrics can be disguised by starching or to produce novelty effects. Organdy fabrics or burnt out fabrics are examples of novelty effect. Textile finishes can be classified in a number of ways. Based on the function, finishes are categorized as aesthetic finishes and functional finishes. They are also called basic or special finishes respectively. Aesthetic finishes alter the appearance and hand or feel of fabrics. For example, a thin fabric may be starched to increase its weight and shine. Calendaring gives a neat look. A dull grey fabric is bleached to get a bright white colour. All these are aesthetic finishes. The functional finish on the other hand improves the performance properties of fabric as per the end use of the product. For example, waterproof finish makes the fabric water repellent for making umbrellas or tarpaulins. Crease resistant finish makes cotton or wool fabric wrinkle resistant. And fireproof finish prevents the burning of fabrics. Finishes are also classified as chemical finishes and mechanical finish based on the application of finish. Chemical finish, also called wet finish, uses acids, alkalis, bleaches, resins and other chemicals to either change the appearance or property of fabric. Even properties which are not possible by mechanical means can be imparted by chemical means. These finishes are usually durable and permanent. Examples are fireproof and mercerization. Chemical finish may be reactive type in which the chemical reaction causes change in the fiber. Example mercerization, flame retardancy or it can be deposition type in which substances are held on the fabric surface, for example, starch. Mechanical finish, also called dry finish, involves application of physical treatment that is friction, pressure, temperature and tension to the surface of the fabric using machines. Napping, shearing, calendaring are some of the examples of mechanical finishes. These finishes are either temporary are semi-durable and do not last long. Finishes can be categorized based on the degree of performance as permanent, durable, semi-durable and temporary. Permanent finishes usually involves a chemical process. It changes the fiber structure 
and last the life of the fabric without any change in its effectiveness. Example can be waterproof or fireproof finish. Durable finishes usually last throughout the life of the article but its effectiveness may diminish after each washing. Examples are permanent pleats or wrinkle resistance. Semi-durable finishes on the other hand last through several launderings or dry cleanings and then are removed. Example bleaching. Temporary finishes are not durable and are removed or diminished after first laundering or dry cleaning. Most of these can be reapplied at home. Example starching and gluing of white fabrics. Each finish may fall into one or more of the above categories. For example, desizing, scouring and bleaching are all basic finishes and are achieved using chemicals. Starching is a basic finish which is temporary. Singeing is a basic and mechanical finish. Mercerization, plissy are special finishes which are applied using chemicals and are permanent. Now, let's have a detailed look into the different finishes. They can be grouped as routine finishes, special finishes, aesthetic finishes and functional finishes for easy categorization. To start with, let's look into the routine finishes. These are routine treatments which are given to all fabrics and includes desizing, scouring, bleaching, singeing or biopolishing. Desizing is the removal of starch from the grey cloth using dilute acids or enzymes. It's done to achieve even dyeing. Scouring or cleaning. Fabrics are often soiled during manufacture and storage and has a lot of impurities like oils and waxes. Scouring is a removal of these impurities and is done with the help of detergents, alkaline solutions or enzymes. The absorbency, smoothness and neatness are enhanced after cleaning. Bleaching. Bleaching is a process of whitening fabrics by chemically removing any natural color present in fabric. Natural fibers are generally bleached with oxidative bleaches such as sodium hypochlorite, sodium chloride or hydrogen peroxide. While synthetic fibers are bleached using reducing bleaches such as sodium hydrosulfite. In Sinjane, protruding fibers on the surface of the fabric are burnt by passing the fabric rapidly over gas flames producing a smooth fabric. In biopolishing, protruding fibers of cotton fabric are removed by the action of cellulase enzyme. In the picture, you can compare and note the reduction in the protruding fibers after biopolishing. Special finish. The second category is special finishes and is applied to selected fabrics based on the properties desired. Mercerization, ammoniating, tentering, heat setting and calendaring are the special finishes. Mercerization is one of the most important finishes for cotton. Cotton as all of us know is a dull and rough fiber which wrinkles easily. It is treated with cold concentrated sodium hydroxide solution under tension to make it stronger, lustrous and absorbent. As absorption is increased, it improves dye affinity, producing brighter shades than unmercerized cotton. This is a durable finish. Ammoniating. Rayon and cotton yarn or fabric are treated with a weak ammonium solution at 233 degrees centigrade and then quickly passed through hot water, stretched and dried in hot air. Swelling of the fiber takes place luster and affinity for dyes is improved. Tentering is done to dry and even out the fabric. The tenter frame consists of two endless chains having an adjustable distance within them. The fabric runs through this frame and is carried into the drying chamber where hot air removes any moisture present in the fabrics and imparts dimensional stability. Heat setting Internal tension is caused in synthetic fibers during manufacturing. Heat setting helps to eliminate this tension and fixes the fabric in the relaxed state thus avoiding subsequent shrinkage or creasing of the fabric. 
It is also a process of decorating the fabric by imparting wrinkles or pleats to the fabric. In this picture, you can see wrinkles imparted through heat setting. These figures show pleats heat set in the fabric. Calendaring is a mechanical process where fabric is pressed by passing it between two or more rotating rollers under controlled temperature and pressure. It produces a smooth flat fabric. If the calendar is heated, it can produce a lustrous surface. It reduces fabric thickness, yarn slippage and air permeability by closing the threads. The next category is aesthetic finishes and it is again categorized into lustre, drape or texture finish. Lustre finish produces a change in the fabric's light reflectance and improves the shine or lustre of the fabric. Drape finishes changes the way a fabric falls or hangs. Texture finish alters the hand of the fabric. Examples of lustre finish are glazing, moire, siring, screenering and embossing. Glazing it is a mechanical finish and the fabric is treated with starches or resins and passed through hot calendars. The spaces between the yarns are filled up and a highly polished surface that is a glazed surface is obtained. In Moya finish, the ripped fabrics are doubled and passed between calendars in such a way that the thick yarns of one side press and produce impressions on the other side. A watered effect is created due to difference in light reflection. Siring is done to silk, rayon or nylon. Wax or other compounds are applied to the fabric followed by hot calendaring resulting in a super gloss appearance. In screenering, one of the steel cylinders of the calendar is embossed with fine diagonal lines. This produces smooth fabrics with soft luster. Some of the drape finishes are starching, weighting, parchmentization and burnt out finish. Starching, it is otherwise called a stiffening finish. Fine quality or loosely woven fabric are treated in a mixture containing starch, waxes, oils and glycerin to add stiffness, weight and body. It also adds shine and smoothness to the fabric. It is a temporary finish. Weighting. Silk fabric loses weight after degumming. To compensate the weight loss, silk is treated with a solution having metallic salts. It improves its feel and draping quality. But excessive weighting tends to weaken the fabric. In parchmentization, the cotton fabric is treated with a mild acid, normally sulfuric acid, that partially eats away the fabric resulting in a thin, transparent, lightweight and crisp fabric called organdy. The stiffness created is permanent. Burnt out finish. All of us know that cellulosic fibers are harmed by acids. This fact is used to produce interesting designs. Controlled concentrations of acid, temperature and treatment time is used on a blend of cellulosic and non-cellulosic fibers to burn out some areas or make it translucent. The texture and hand finishes are plissy, shearing, napping, beetling, suiting, jigging and tiggering. Plissy is a permanent finish created by printing sodium hydroxide on cotton. The alkali shrinks the fabric in the treated areas and produces a puckered effect in the unprinted area. Shearing refers to the process of trimming off surface fibers or pile to control the length of the nap. It creates a smooth fabric with uniform surface. This process is done by a machine similar to a lawn mower. Napping is done to get hairy surface. The fabric is passed under a roller having fine steel wires with small hooks on the ends. The hooks scrapes the surface of the fabric, pulling up the fiber ends, producing a soft fabric with air trapped in the cells, lending warmth to the fabric. It is commonly used in blankets, sleepwear and winter clothing. Beetling process is applied to linen or cotton. The fabric is beaten with heavy hammers. 
it flattens the yarns of the fabric and produces a hard flat surface with sheen. Suiting, it's also called peach finish. When a fabric is passed through a series of emery covered rollers, a soft nap is produced on the fabric and it gets a sewed velvet like surface. This process is also otherwise called as sanding or emerizing. Jigging is raising process applied to wool fabrics. Teasels fixed to cylinder brushes against wool gently and produces a short soft nap. Tiggering finish is given to a fabric already having naps to improve the height of the raised naps and to remove the loose fibers. The tiger roll has long fine wires and pulls up the fibers that are not raised by the process of napping. The next is the most important finishes, functional finishes. The functional finishes are applied to fabrics to enhance the performance in a specific area and can be categorized into stabilization, shape retention, appearance retention, comfort related, biological control and safety related finishes. Sanferization, also called zero finish or shrinkage control finish. The textile fibers are under constant tension during spinning, weaving and dyeing and they have a tendency of reverting back to their original state. This causes shrinkage in the fabric. To avoid the shrinkage, the process of shrinking the grey good is carried out. Sanferizing is a process whereby the fabric is first moistened with steam, run through a short stenter frame to straighten and smooth out wrinkles, then through a compressive shrinkage head where it is fed between a roller and a rubber blanket in such a way that the rubber blanket compresses the weft threads and imparts compressive shrinkage and then through a drying unit to set the fabric. If the label on the fabric reads sanferized or anti-shrunk or shrink proof then it means the fabric has received a finish for shrinkage control and you can be sure such a fabric will not shrink on washing. This is a mechanical finish. Shape retention under that is wash and wear finish. It is also called as drip dry finish. Cotton fabrics or other cellulosics like rayon and linen crush badly when in use. When wash and wear finish is applied, cellulosic fabrics acquire qualities similar to that of synthetic fibers. They become easy to maintain as they dry smooth, do not wrinkle and so needs no frequent ironing. This finish is a durable one. The fabric is actually saturated with resin and cured at temperatures of about 360 degree Fahrenheit. The fabric becomes stiff, less absorbent and more resistant to wrinkling. Tensile strength and abrasion resistance are reduced. This finish is also called crease resistant finish or wrinkle free finish. Appearance retention finish, under this the first one is stain and soil resistant finishes. These prevent soil and stains from being attracted to fabrics and helps to maintain a clean look of a product like carpets and upholstery. Chemicals such as fluorocarbons and argonosilicon compounds are used to coat the fabric surface. Thus a protective coating is formed which inhibits penetration of stains and soil. Another approach is to increase the surface tension so that the liquid based stains roll off in a manner similar to that you see on droplets on lotus leaves. Non-slip finishes. Some fabric with synthetic warp and weft threads in loosely woven fabrics have a tendency to slip because of their surface smoothness and their appearance is no longer attractive. Non-slip finish is applied to a yarn to make it resistant to slipping and sliding when in contact with another yarn. The fabrics are treated with resins, stretched and dried under tension. Anti-pilling finish. Pills are balls of tangled threads that appear on the fabric surface. Fabrics with pills have an unsightly appearance. Pills are common with spun yarn fabrics and knits especially when they contain synthetics. Loose fibers are pulled from yarns and are formed into spherical balls by abrasion. 
anti-pilling finish reduces the forming of pills on fabric and is based on the use of chemical treatments which aim to suppress the ability of fibers to loosen and also to reduce the mechanical resistance of synthetic fiber. Comfort related finishes, these help to keep arsels comfortable. Under this water repellent finish, water repellent finishes resist absorption and penetration of water for a given period of time depending on the time and force of the water. After some time, water may pass through even a water repellent fabric. As opposed to waterproof fabrics, these fabrics are porous, permitting the body to breathe and therefore are more comfortable. This finish is applied to fabrics found in raincoats, hats, caps, umbrellas and shower curtains. Water repellent finishes may be non-durable, semi-durable and durable. As you see in the table, non-durable finishes are applied using paraffin wax aluminium acetate emulsion and are not resistant to washing or dry cleaning. Semi-durable finish is applied using wax and salt solution and is resistant to dry cleaning. Durable finish is applied using fluorocarbon and silicon and is resistant to both washing as well as dry cleaning. Hydrophilic finishes. Synthetic fibers have low moisture absorption and this makes it uncomfortable when it is in contact with the skin. Hydrophilic finish imparts absorbency using chemicals such as ammonium compounds, humectants and wetting agents. Such finished fabrics readily absorb perspiration, reduce static cling and increases fibers moisture holding power. This finish is useful for towels, sportswear and other items where moisture absorption is important. UV protection. Fabric treated with UV absorbers deflect the harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun reducing a person's UVR exposure and protects the skin from damage. This protection is expressed as SPF that is sun protection factor. Higher the SPF value better is the protection against UV radiation. Softening finish is required for pleasant hand and better drapeability. Fabrics are harsher and stiffer because of their construction or due to some prior finishing process. Softening can be done by either mechanical or chemical process. Simple calendaring softens hand but it is temporary and this is a mechanical finish. Silicon compounds are used mostly as softeners and this is a chemical finish. Anti-static finish. Static electricity causes problem of clinging to the wearer and attraction of dirt. Anti-static finishes are chemical substances applied to synthetic textile for the purpose of reducing or eliminating static electricity which accumulate on these fibers. These chemicals absorb small amounts of moisture from the atmosphere thus reducing the dryness of the fabric and making it comfortable to wear. Anti-static finishes are semi-durable. It also prevents dust from clinging to the fabric. Biological control finish, another antimicrobial finish. The inherent properties of textile fibers like humidity and warmth encourages the growth of microorganisms. Antimicrobial finish is a treatment which makes the fabric resistant to bacterial growth, order causing germs and prevent the cloth from damage. Antimicrobial agents can be applied to the textiles by exhaust, spray, pad dry cure coating or foam techniques. Chemicals used are quaternary ammonium compounds, melamine resins with zinc nitrate. This finish is extensively used in healthcare sectors like surgical gowns, nurses uniforms, infant wear, sports and leisure clothes. Moth proofing finishes. This protects protein containing fibers such as wool and silk from being attacked by moths carpet beetles and other insects. It is achieved by using substances containing fluorine such as sodium fluoride, aluminium fluoride, potassium fluoride and sodium antimony fluoride. Anti-mildew. In suitable conditions of humidity and heat, 
cellulose can be permanently damaged by mildew. This damage can be prevented by the use of antiseptics, bacteria controlling products containing quaternary ammonium salts and phenol derivatives. Safety related finishes, fire retardant or flame retardant finish. Fabrics cannot be made absolutely fireproof but it can be treated to retard flammability. It imparts safety to the individual using them. They do not propagate the flame and are self-extinguishing. Flame retardants are chemicals containing phosphorus or chlorinated hydrocarbons which are applied to fabrics to inhibit or suppress the combustion process. It is commonly used for children's garment, firefighter uniforms, carpets and furnishings. The other finishes that needs to be given importance are fragrance finish. Micro encapsulation is a useful method for applying various functional finishes on textiles. Aroma encapsulated capsules are used for fragrance finish. The fragrance from the capsule is released during the application of pressure onto the fabric. A binder is used to fix the capsules as it has no affinity to fabrics. Waterproof finishes. Waterproof fabrics are coated with a natural or synthetic rubber that is insoluble in water. It allows no water to penetrate but is uncomfortable as it traps moisture next to the body. Plasma finish. In plasma treatment, the surface of the fabric is exposed to the action of plasma and is modified both physically and chemically. The mechanical properties are not altered. A gas such as oxygen, nitrogen, air or organ is injected inside a reactor at a specified pressure. It is ionized by the presence of two electrodes in the presence of an electric field. The fabric sliding through the electrodes is bombarded by the elements of the plasma causing surface modification. So now let's look into the finishes for wool. There are some specific finishes for wool and they are decatizing. It is a finish done to bring dimensional stability, enhance luster and improve the appearance and feel of woolen fabrics. Fabric wound on perforated rollers is immersed in hot water or has steam blown through it. Carbonizing is burning of vegetable matter in wool using dilute sulfuric acid to achieve uniform dyeing. So denim all of us know is a fabric that all of us love and there are some special finishes for it. Stone wash. In stone washing process freshly dyed denims are spun together in a large washing machine with pumic stones. The pumic stones abrades the surface of the denim removing some dye particles from the surface of the yarn producing a faded or worn out look. Enzyme washing. Cellulose enzyme can be used to produce a stone wash effects on denim fabric. The surface color on the denim is removed by cellulase instead of the pumic stone. This process is less damaging to fabrics than actual stone washing. It gives a very soft feel to the treated fabrics. Sandblasting. It is a mechanical finish. Worn out or abraded look is achieved on specific areas of the garment using the technique of blasting abrasive materials in granular or powdered form at very high speed and pressure through a nozzle. In whiskering, laser is used to create crease lines on denim. Dear friends, I hope through this module you would have got an insight into the different textile finishes and their importance. Let me sign off for now and hope to meet you in the next module.